everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Shayla and we are finally reacting to the Espa Whiplash album now Whiplash like as a title track what else can we say but cunt <laughs> no she's been on repeat going platinum in my bedroom for however many days weeks it's been since uh, I watched that music video very much love that song. It is definitely one of my favorite songs released this year. Probably not top three. Just because, oh my god, the music release this year was so good. But definitely top ten. At least for now. And uh, Armageddon still holds that number one spot. I don't know if she's ever going to be let go. But Whiplash is still fucking sick. And I think, like, Espa and their music videos has been crazy like the armageddon music video was so fucking pretty tiny amount of ai notwithstanding and <laughs> don't drag me for that um and the whiplash music video was so so cool and such an interesting take for like a k-pop music video a k-pop title track um very artistic very thematic like i really enjoy where espa's entire team is taking them and so I am very freaking excited for this album. I really like the Armageddon album as a whole. There is a couple songs that weren't as much my thing, but especially that first like four, five, six, I don't know. The first half of the album, I really, really enjoy um, in terms of like uh, title track B-side runs. So very excited for Whiplash. I think there's five songs for the, or Whiplash album. There's five songs we're listening to, I believe. And the first one is kill it so let's go also winter looks adorable there let's go kill it holy shit yeah. Smash. Okay, first of all, why is this the most replayed? Oh, I don't know, actually. But first of all, just in general, that first verse is crazy. I'm really enjoying the production. Um, I think Winter's part sounded really, really cool. And then, again, just that pre-chorus was so beautiful. I'm interested to see where they take that chorus, though. So let's let's go back a little bit. Oh, yeah, okay, when this, like, whatever that fucking, like, buzzy synthy thing, I don't even know what you're going to call it, that comes in. Very, very interesting. They do a lot of, like, um, I don't know how else to describe it except for use what's in my brain right now, which is what K-pop fans a lot of the time used to insult people but like construction kind of sounds like an industrial that's what i'm going for like a very industrial sounding um instrumentals in general and that was definitely present in their full length album that was released this year um but this song really really takes that up like right here I hit the That part's so sick. Mm. Sing, Giselle. Oh, this part. I love her tone so much. 
I'll never shut up about it. Oh, we got all of them in the pre chorus too, that's cool. I love how full it sounds. Like, the atmosphere in this chorus is crazy. Oh! Oh my god, her voice here! This second verse is sick. Slice. Okay! Oh my god, you better sing. Crazy. I'm sorry to cut it off on the last chorus, but go back. <laughs> Sounds great. But it didn't drop completely. It does now, though. <laughs> that was fascinating i love the production of that song i think it's very very cool and that like industrial sound is very much like fits espa um i think there are so many different parts in that song that i'm gonna need to like give it a little bit more time to get used to it and figure out what I really like. I really like the post chorus. I think they all sounded great in their singing parts. I think what this is reminding me of is Set the Tone. And I really, really enjoyed Set the Tone when I initially reacted to it. And it's still like a fantastic, is it B-side opener? Like it's a fantastic song and it's one of my favorites on the album. I think the only thing that stops it from being more of a favorite of mine is there's just so much like talking and chanting um, in the chorus. And I fear maybe that this might be similar though I can already see that I think I like the production of this one better than Set the Tone. Um, I feel like it's something I commented on in Whiplash as well. It's very talky and I think Whiplash has a, a, 
a production that really, really allows for that and sections where they're singing so gorgeously that like it just fits into the song. It's very cohesive. Whereas this, I don't know. I feel like the verses I really enjoy, the pre-chorus I really enjoy. I just wish there was a little bit more of a melodic take in the chorus. But that's just on first listen. So it might change. But I just, I'm so in love with that pre-chorus. And this production that, regardless, I think I'm going to really enjoy this song. It just might not end up being my favorite, depending on what the other ones are. Yeah, that's all I got to say. That, yeah, good, crazy opening. I'm so glad they're continuing with these, like, higher energy kind of crazy production first. Maybe it's a couple songs. Maybe it's just one song. We'll see. But really cool. Also, these concept pictures. Winter, that hair. Anyways, this one's called Flights, Not Feelings. Very interesting. What are we going to be talking about here, girls? Let's go. Let's see. Flights, not feelings, and I'm trying to hurt myself, trying to burn myself. Get your flights, not feelings, I'm not trying to oh, hurt myself. Trying to burn myself. The no like central beat is really cool as an intro. Catch your flights, not feelings, and I'm trying to hurt myself. Can't filter over their voices. Get your flights, not feelings, I'm not trying to hurt myself. Trying to burn myself. What the god, I'm there in the night of. Tell me, nature, did you all get more so? Oh, that's beautiful. It's in the chorus too. It's like not completely on beat. Like it ends that way. It ends in the same rhythm, but especially the catch and flights not feelings is it's very off. It's interesting. It's the word flights, I think, specifically that like doesn't hit where you like want it to hit. Oh, interesting. This fucking instrumental is crazy. This production. Sounded great. 
So it's obviously, the song is obviously trying to emulate, um, like a throwbacky kind of sound. Like, 90s is what I am going to say, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to be super, super honest. I don't know exactly when, but like with the like older kind of filter over their voice, like there's, there's just a, a few things that point to that for me. I, why I was so confused, I think, and not confused, but like unsure of kind of how to express myself in the middle of the song is like, I do, how do I explain this? There are, re there are different ways to enjoy a song, right? <laughs> like you can enjoy it because like it is super catchy to you. You're going to replay it a million times. Like it's your study song. It's your dance song, whatever it is, right? Um, and those are usually the songs, the ones that like, I'm going to replay a lot. Um, I'm going to like want to listen to actively, um, are the ones that I usually praise. I think the most on my channel that I talk about as like being my favorites or whatever, not necessarily the ones that have the most interesting or best production value or are, like moving like taking steps in music and like like maybe carving out a new path for like other artists in K-pop. So favorite doesn't necessarily mean best and obviously best is relative as well. And so all that to say is I don't think this is a song that I would actively seek out a lot in my everyday life. I don't think it's a song that I would say is like my favorite in terms of Espa songs in general, it's just not a type of song that I would gravitate towards. However, I am fascinated by the production, the theme, the just the entire process behind the making of this song. I would love, oh my God, to pick like producer writer brains about this song. And like some of the choices they make, like that delay that persists throughout the song, like the kind of eeriness that feels like it is persevering throughout the entire song. Just, just in general, like the kind of atmosphere that they put in with the, the layering of the vocals and the chorus, like there's a lot that I really like. And that's why I was like, I don't know if I like it. No, I do like it. I just don't know if it's like a for me thing. I think this is a fantastic song. I think it has a very, very cool like progression throughout. You know what? who I would love to see talk about this song? Is that like Classical Musicians React channel? Oh my God, I love them. Please go support them. Ha. Huh. They're like, I've been watching them since I was like a baby K-pop fan. Um, love, love their stuff. And I would love to hear a couple of them talk about this song because I don't have the vocabulary, I am not a classical musician, to like talk about this, but I would love to hear someone else do it. And I think that that, in that way, I enjoy this song because I think it is really, really well produced. I think the artistic like expression is really like does miles to this song. Their delivery, all of the girls, like the atmosphere just in general, I really like the song. Is it something that I'm going to listen to on my own time? Probably not a ton. Is it something that I might like sit down my roommates or my friends and be like, so this is a K-pop song that exists, isn't that crazy? Like listen to this thing. Probably, you know? So all that to say is I like it, but I also don't, but I like it. I like it, but I don't, you know, <laughs> anyways, uh, I don't know. I feel like I over explain myself too, too much sometimes when I'm listening to music, but I just get so like invested in the song and, and production and, and things I like about it and stuff that it makes me want to talk more, but I hope that I'm getting my point across. That, like, just because it's not something that I'm going to, like, gravitate towards does not mean it's bad. 
and I think the exact opposite about play it's not feelings so yeah anyway we're on to pink hoodie now um I wonder if there's going to be a vibe change up. In the last couple Espa albums I think I've listened to, there have been quite significant vibe change ups like halfway through the album where we get more like brighter kind of sounding. So I am intrigued to see if this is going to be similar. But let's go. Pink hoodie. Baggy jeans, a car chop. No. I take it off, summer joe, and dress the same. Pink hoodie. Ayo. Pink hoodie. Ayo. Oh, hell yeah, that bass. I'm Tommy and they get lit a black dress that boss to do that. I'm blessed and I'm chill and I'm singing and I'm still keeping my mouth, my mouth, my mouth, that's your let Let's go. Let's go. Something that has gone unchanged throughout this whole album, though, is how fucking good these pre-courses have been. Yes. This is fun. I like this. Hey. I like this. This is so fun. Due to her voice there. I don't know if that's just this lyric video, but they like broke up her voice on stereotype. Do you guys hear that? I might just see the video. And it's so fun. Okay. Really fun song. I feel like I don't have as much to say about this one. It's quite short, first of all. Um, and it's just, it's not one that I have a lot of large feelings about. I like the song. Probably gonna listen to it fairly often especially when i do like album re-listens um but i don't think it's anything revolutionary for like espa the i will say the lyrics were cute um i really like kind of seeing that side of them and i do think again versus pre-chorus bridge fantastic especially that pre-chorus so I like that song not my favorite though flowers oh these wow I'm like obsessed with winter's look this uh comeback apparently all right flowers let's go <laughs> is this where the switch up comes oh one two three no need to Show me your flowers, flowers, flowers. I'm 
Oh, I like this. I keep thinking they're gonna drop into a chorus, but I think they've already done it and I just didn't realize it was the chorus. Is like this part the chorus? No. I thought this was a pre chorus, but I think it is. This also feels like a pre chorus. And then this feels like a draw, but just the same. Oh, oh I just got chills. Oh. This one's my favorite so far, by the way. This is sick. Love that verse of her. I really like how she does this part. Her tone here. Karina doing that or Ning Ning at the end? Oh, and like the fire crackly. Okay. That one's my favorite B-side so far. That was crazy. That was beautiful. It was like a switch up, but not really because it was still kind of dark and like ominous, but not really. You know kind of what I mean? Like sentimental. Um but not something super, super bright. So it feels like a good kind of transition. I don't know what this last song is going to be, but I have to assume it's going to be a ballad because I think Espa usually has those on their their albums, but who knows? Um, in general, Flowers, A+. I loved the vibe throughout. That guitar was beautiful. I think they sang really lovely. I think they had a great balance of it being like hauntingly beautiful. And I love a good hauntingly beautiful song. So that was great. Probably, yeah, my favorite one so far. Okay. We are finally on the last one. This is Just Another Girl. Interesting title. Ballad? Rock ballad? Hey, I've been obsessed with you. Oh, I'm 
toss up between what my favorite like b-side off of the armageddon album is um because i really really like mine and how that one is produced but i really also like live my life live your life that one the like kind of rocky um pop song that's in near the end really really like that song um and so i'm like what i usually like is kind of darker more like mine um or even like armageddon Versus, like, that kind of rock pop that I do uh, occasionally go for. And this song feels a lot like that. Like, a little bit, um, turn, like, turned down. Is that the right word to, or phrase to use for it? But same, same sort of vibe. And I'm probably gonna like this one a lot. <laughs> This one, this one's a good like concert song. Oh, like that part a lot. I hope they go. My hope is that they go really big for the final chorus. We'll see if that happens. Yeah, you are going down. Yes! Oh, I was gonna say, I hope they bring in the claps and cut out some stuff. That would be so nice. That's like a rock pop staple. <laughs> I love this part. Oh, I wish that one was longer. <laughs> oh, I really, really, really like that one. That one might be one of my favorites too. The last two have been really, really interesting, which is funny because it was the opposite for the last album. It was the first run of songs that was my favorite, but no, I really, really like that song. I think that they should continue doing these kind of songs because they have been some of my favorites for the last two albums, and I'm excited to listen to this one more. Wow. So it kind of did... I feel like the flow of this album... As much as I did like the Drama and Armageddon albums, the last two that we've got from them, I felt like there was some consistency style 
cohesiveness issues in the way that the song structure were laid out or the songs that were picked for the albums. I felt like there wasn't enough of a connection or strong theme throughout. I do think that it existed, but it was harder for me to do a full listen to a couple, like some of those albums. And I say that even it being that Armageddon is like one of my favorite albums of this year. So it's not coming from a place of like, I really don't like that album. Like I really enjoy it. I just think that there could have been some better choices maybe in song selection or whatever. Right. Theming. Um, I feel like this album kind of takes all of the main complaints I had and like kicks them in the ass and they're gone. Like this feels very consistent all the way through the song order makes a lot of sense beginning in whiplash and ending with just another girl. Um, and the way you move through the album feels very like you're not jarred in any way. It feels like very understandable that they placed all these songs in this album. Um, I have to listen to the full album more to get a better consensus of, or sense of that consistency. But just from first listen, I really, really enjoy this album. And even though there there's one song that like, again, isn't my vibe even though I really like it. I, I just really like it. I like the whole thing. Um, and so that makes me excited. It makes me intrigued to see what I'm going to land on as my top favorite albums of this year because there's been some fucking bangers. So this is one of them. So yeah, I hope this was enjoyable for you. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I feel like I'm at a loss. I really really enjoyed this and I can't wait to listen to it more I can't wait to follow more Espa I can't believe it's only been like like under a year since I started really really enjoying them and uh now I'm in it so let me know what else I should react to from them I believe I still have a guide to watch so that will be coming soon and uh yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye